Assalamu alaikum, I'm Slava. I got to show this a video on how to make a ruffle gown, the sewing tutorial. So, the first thing I'm going to be doing is to sew my shoulders by half an inch. So, I'll sew the first shoulder and then the second shoulder. So after I'm done with that, I'm just going to go straight to my sides. And then sew my sides seam by the allowance we took when we were cutting. So I'm just sewing my sides. So after sewing one side, I'm just going to go to the other side and then sew that also. Then after sewing, this is what we have. That's my shoulder. And then this is the sides. I've turned it to the right side now. So that's what we have. So the next thing we are going to do is to work on our ruffle. So to do that now, that is the, the down part, the ruffle part. So we are just going to take the two fabrics together. And then we are going to sew down by half an inch. We are going to join them together by half an inch. So I've joined them already. And after joining, this is what I have. So the next thing is to gather our ruffle. So we have to gather everything together. So to do this, if you are using the normal manual machine, you are going to use the gather stitches. So use the gather stitches to gather it. So I'll just go ahead to do that. So I'm just gathering it. You sew with gather stitches, then you start pulling thread, but you have to pull gently. If not, the thread can break and you have to start all over again. So you pull gently and then you keep sewing. You pull one of the thread, not both threads. When you sew, you have two strands of the thread. One at the back and one at the front. So you pull, you pull just one to form gathers. So that's what I'm forming now. So I'm just sewing and I'm forming my gathers. So after sewing, this is my gathers now. I formed it already. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take the measurement of the down parts. So I'm taking the measurement of the down parts. So I have that. The next thing I'm going to do is to confirm if my gathers is above it or is below it. So that I can know what to do. If I'm going to split it more, I'm going to gather it more. If it's not enough, that's what you're going to do. You're just going to pull a little bit. So I have my gathers now, and it's enough for me. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join it together and then sew down. So I'm just going to sew by the side with half an inch. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm just sewing. So 
So after sewing, this is what we are going to have. And I'm just going to turn it to the right side. And after turning to the right side, I'll take my upper body parts. The right side facing each other. I'll just pin it all down. So I'm just going to pin the part I'm going to sew. So I'm just going to pin it all around. So after pinning and after I sew on it, this is what we are going to have. Like I've already sewn it. So that's our gathered for the down parts. So the next thing is to go to our sleeves. So this is the upper part of the sleeve. And this is the ruffle part. We should note that I want my own ruffle to be fuller than the one in the picture. So that's why my ruffle is as long as this. So I'm just going to gather this also. I'm going to gather the sleeve part also. The same way we gather the down parts. Sewing with gather stitches, then pulling a thread and then forming the gathers. Then before that, we are going to sew for the elastic. So we sew about 1 inches. You measure your elastic, your tiny elastic. Then you just fold about 1 inch. And then you sew it. So I did that already. So this is the hole for the elastic. So after the hole, I'm just going to gather it. It is better for you to form the hole first before gathering. In order for it to be easy. So I'm just gathering now. Just a garden. You have something like this. You just keep pulling the thread gently and then forming the gathers. So after gathering, this is what we are going to have. Then we just make sure it's the same length with the part we are going to attach it to, which is the down part of the sleeve. Then the next thing I'm going to do, so it's the same length, is to take my safety pin I'm using about 8 inches of elastic. My wrist is 7 inches, so half half inches elastic for seam allowance. So I'm just taking my safety pin. This is like one of the easiest way to fix elastic. So I'm just going to be passing it in. Be careful not to overpass it at first so that the elastic will not be inside. Why you will not attach like like a straight pin to pin it down so you have to be careful at first so when i get to the first edge i attached the straight pin then i'm just still pulling then when i pull to the other hand i'll just attach another straight pin to pin it down and then i'll do the same to the second sleeve also so this is what we'll have And I'm just going to sew that.
I'm just weighing it. Then after sewing, this is what we are going to have already attached my down part to my head part. And you can see that my whole waffle is fuller than that in the picture. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to sew and to sew our basic sleeve by the side. So to do that, I'm going to remove the straight pins kept at the elastic. But be, be careful. You have to you have to make sure your your hands are holding it when you are removing the pins so that the elastic will not just go inside and we won't have to start all over so i'm just sewing them so after sewing this is what we have so our maxi dress is almost ready so this is for the waist belt i already attached the three pieces i cut so what I'm just going to do now is to fold it right side facing each other and then sew it straight down. And then for the sleeve, the normal we've been attaching sleeve. Right side facing each other also. We make sure those places are aligned and then we pin around. I'm just pinning. I'm just pinning. So I'm tapping that's the result so i'm just going to sew that around i'm just passing it with my sewing machine now and i'm sewing So this is for my waist belt now. I'm just going to keep sewing it down. I'm done with my sleeve. To form a long rope. So after sewing it, this is what we are going to have. We joined one hand and we left one end unjoined. So taking our scissors to the joint hand, I'm just going to use my scissors to pull it out. You can use any other straight thing that, you, that is usable. But I mostly use my scissors. So I'm just going to pull it out from the other hand. So the next thing we are going to do with the belt is just to sew on the other side or you can just you can just use needle and thread anything you want to use then our sleeves also is ready so the next thing we are going to do is to hem the neck you can use a bias tape 
or you can just hem it straight, but I'm hemming it straight. Then the down part also, you hem the down parts also. And our waffle dress is ready. So I'm just hemming the neck and down parts now. And please be careful here also. Make sure your hands are straight. I'm just hemming, and when I'm done with the neck, I'll just go to the down part and I'll hem it all around also. And I'm just going to finish it up with an overlocking machine. That is, I'm going to overlock the whole inside to give it a finished look. So, thank you so much for watching and this is our results. I hope you try us and I hope it's easy enough. If you have more questions, please kindly ask. Take care.